Hey y'all, so I'm finally getting to do the hair tutorial that everybody's been wanting. Um, I'm going to do the big curls down. Um, you can put a headband or um, you can actually use some bobby pins to pin back the front of your hair. It can be done many different ways, but um, yeah, so here we go. Um, I start with my hair down. Um, of course, you want to brush it out. Make sure there's no tangles. My hair is already kind of curly anyway, but... You know, it's different kind of body and way than the big curls that you get out of the Conair rollers. Um, I just part it where I want to do it, brush it out, and I have my straightener here that I straighten the front sections a little bit, like where it's going to be combed and laying and fixed on top of your head. like so. Um, different people's hair parts different ways. Mine actually parts both ways, but I normally prefer this way. Um, okay, once you have it straight in the front, just on, you know, top, just to kind of smooth it down, I section it off. You can just grab a comb. And you have it parted, you know, kind of how you want it to lay. And I just take and twist the top half. I'd section it off like I'd be doing like a half ponytail, you know, like a half updo. And I have just like little clamps that I will hold that part of the hair up. This is my bottom section. And I section it off like this. And normally it's thick enough that I'd put another section in the back because you don't want too much on your roller. Normally I just um, do like a good thick inch or so. I mean, you know, different hair is different so just go by how your hair curls and stuff. If it curls easy or hard or whatever. But um, this is my rollers. They're Conair and um, they're really awesome. They have like this velvet stuff wrapped around the outside. Um, they're heated and they pin in your hair with these little things. It's actually an older set. I know Walmart has the newer version. Um, it's 12 in a set. Um, I, I love them. I would pay $50 for them and it would be well worth it. Um, I think they're like, I don't know, 25 maybe, if that. But um, it's definitely worth it. The only thing you're going to need for um, this hairstyle is some mousse. It doesn't really matter which kind you use. I use the Gourmet Fructix um, Volume Mousse. And some hairspray. I use Freeze It, which in my opinion is the best. It holds really good. Um, but you just take a section of your hair, making sure that it's not too thick, but you don't want it you know, too thin because you'll run out of rollers. So you want to evenly have it go over and um, just squirt you a little tiny bit on your hand and I just kind of run it through each strand. I mean you don't want it soaking wet but just a little just a little bit. Um, it helps hold the curl and it just gives it bouncy volume and stuff. Um, sometimes I do each curl as I'm rolling as I go through but sometimes I just do all of the section at one time each section and um, then just roll it up like that. But um, anyway, this is a super easy hairstyle to do. It's not anything hard. I mean, once you get done, it looks like you took hours on it, but normally once I um, roll my hair up, I just start from the ends and roll it all the way up, just as tight as you can get it. And one thing that I've learned is your hair will never go up the same every time. Sometimes it goes up and you're like, ugh, it didn't, you know, go up how it normally lays on my head or they're trying to fall out, they're not that tight. But I've learned that sometimes the times that you think this is not going to turn out, it actually turns out the best. So, just start at the end, roll it up pretty tight, all the way up to your scalp. And take the little pin and secure it. Sometimes they're pretty hard to shove in there. Okay. 
Um, my last section, the third section I had done, it's kind of thick, so I'm going to just separate it again and roll it up. And that's basically what I do for all of my sections. I just put a little mousse on them and then roll it up. And, and the phone's ringing. <laughs> Okay, but um, it normally doesn't take me very long to roll up the sections of my hair. And once I put them in, I normally, it normally doesn't take but 15 to 20 minutes for them to cool. And you can take them right out. And, I mean, you have really awesome curls. Um, let's see. And then I just undo this top section here. Sometimes they're kind of tangled up with the rollers and um, just make sure they're not you know all tangled and all of that and this is the top section so I didn't have any mousse on it or anything I'll just run some light mousse through it like I said you don't want to make it too all too wet and clumpy you just just enough you know where it's on there you know it's gonna do some good and um, anyway but, let's see, this is my whole top half, I'm going to take and just section it off in two sections, you know, this side and that side, and I'll pin this one back up, um, so you know it won't be in my way while I'm rolling up this one, and this one's a pretty big hunk of hair, so I just section off, you know, about three or four, just depends on how your hair is. Okay, um, now that I have it done, I just kind of spray it while it's in the rollers. I think everybody does that. Um, and then I just let it sit for like 15 to 20 minutes and I'll be back.